Hi grade 11s, I hope you are all still doing well. Today we are going to do some creative writing. For the activity, you are going to respond to a classified advertisement. Last week, you worked through classified ads and you saw what was given to you in the specific classified ad. You also had to write your own classified ad. But for today, you will be given an advertisement which you need to respond on. By responding to a classified advertisement, you need to write a formal letter to the person inquiring more information about the specific product that they have to offer. I know in today's days it's much easier to rather just send an email or a WhatsApp, but because this is creative writing, you still need to know the different formats of the different letters. This letter being a formal letter differs completely from that of a friendly letter. So please take note of the format. Also, keep in mind that because it is a formal letter, you have to make use of formal language when you write your letter. Here is an example of a, a letter of inquiry. I started my letter off by giving my address in the top right hand corner of the letter. This is followed by the date on which the letter was written. You will, however, write your own address in the top right hand corner. Alternatively, if your mail is delivered to a post office or a post box, you need to write down a PO box address. Now you leave open a line followed by the address of the person you are writing the letter to. Again, after this, you leave open a line where you formally address the person that you are writing the letter to. By this time, you will know the person's name because you saw it in the classified ad, therefore you have to use their name in the letter. After this, you leave open a line followed by the title or the subject. This needs to be underlined so that it can stand out. It just makes it easier for the person reading the letter to see exactly what the letter is about as soon as they open up the letter. Now you leave open a line followed by your introductory paragraph. This paragraph is where you inquire more information about the specific product to offer. In this example, they are inquiring about puppies for sale. So this paragraph will contain information regarding the puppies. For instance, how old they are, how many they are, what the genders of the specific puppies are, what color they are, etc. So whatever additional information you need, you will now write that down in this paragraph. Again, you leave open a line followed by the concluding paragraph. In this paragraph, you give your contact details to the person. In this paragraph, you are allowed to put your email address. Alternatively, you can put a telephone number where they can phone you to give you the information about the puppies. Now you leave open a line and you end your letter by using a formal conclusion. For formal letters, you have some options that you can use as a formal conclusion. For instance, yours faithfully, sincerely yours, or kind regards. Now comes a difference between a formal letter and a friendly letter. For a formal letter, you have to put your signature followed by your name and your surname. In a friendly letter, however, your signature and your surname is not required, only your name or a nickname by which the person knows you. But for a formal letter, unfortunately, you need to have all of these things. Now it's your turn. For today, you are going to do Activity 3 on page 136 of your textbook. Please stick to the instructions and the word count provided to you in your book. Remember, you need to do a first and a final draft. You will, however, see that the question in your textbook gave you specific things that you are requiring about. The question is about student accommodation. For today's activity, I would like you to add additional things to the letter of inquiry that they might not have listed in your textbook. So think of it, if you were a student studying at university, what else would you need to complete your studies with? Have fun!